What is happening, good people? Welcome back to another weekly project update where right behind me you will see our brown car, our 73 Plymouth satellite that we're trying to build into a bracket car. It looks to be in a little bit more disarray than it was the last time you saw it. Um, nephew came by Friday night and he went to town destroying, <laughs> I say destroying, Wreck It Ralph got turned loose with a hammer and a chisel, more so to break the welds that was holding this ball joint in on that control arm so that we can take the front suspension apart. And as you can see, we got spindle laying here, lower control arms all blown apart, drag link, tie rod ends, idler arm, pitman arm, all that's laying here. The only thing I've got left to do is actually separate the control arms and drop them from the car. I got to slide the torsion bars back to get the lowers out. Not a big deal. It was just getting late that night, so we hung it up. But you'll see here, and I know I talked about this a couple weeks ago, of the 7172 B body lower control arms that I've found procured that I want to use on this car for one good reason. QA1 makes a really awesome strut rod, which for reference, this is the 73 and up model. And you'll see that it mounts using these two bolt holes on the lower control arm, kind of like the pickup trucks do. But QA1 doesn't support that. They support the 72 and earlier that uses literally a stud that slides into this slot on the lower control arm to control forward and aft movement of the front tires. These work, these 73 and models, they work fine. They're just, they're kind of bendy. Like the driver's side one is, it, it, yeah, it's got some waves in it. So um, for something a little more solid, I wanted to use the QA1 pieces that only work on the 72 and earlier lower control arms. So I'm gonna try to see what it would take Aside from literally what looks like just knocking off this bump stop pad and just welding a set of shock tabs right in this neighborhood to kind of match up to where they are on the 73 and up lower control arms. Since the shock doesn't mount to the fender, it actually mounts to a plate up here. Um, I got some fiddling to do with that to figure out if I can make that work or not. I'd really like to. It would make a lot of things a lot more simple for me. And again, like I said, I could use the QA1 strut rods, which are a lot more solid. They don't allow for as much deflection, so life would be better. In other news, our rear end is put together. Went together nicely, didn't have any problems at all. Center section bolted right up, axle slid right in. It's got new seals, long studs. This thing's ready to go. E-brake cables, the shoes on these brakes even look good after sitting since, what, 2012, I think? No, I'm sorry, it'd have been 2016 when I pulled them off the eight three quarter under our 74 Dodge D100, because I was gonna go to disc brakes, so. I had these sitting around. I knew they still worked really well. So now they're on here. I just, I do have to change the wheel cylinders. Uh, they did kind of get a little rusty and funky looking. So not a big deal, but this is kind of where we're at with the 73. It's dirty, it's ugly, it's funky. This control arm's good. These threads are still fine. This ball joint came out just fine. No real problems there. Um, it's just that one. This is the one that collapsed, of course, back in, I think, 2001, so. Yeah, I'll have to either source another one or do something. I don't know. But here in just a few minutes, I'm going to take off, go over to Eric's where the diesel is, go ahead and start surfacing the decks on that 6.6. .6. Using a method, I'll be honest, I thought was a little off the wall, but there's a uh, there's a video that I'll post in the link when I do the full length from uh, Truckmaster, Truckmaster, uh, YouTube channel, where they do a set of head gaskets on a 6.6 Duramax diesel. And they literally, they take a long board and sandpaper and they just plane the decks, which I thought was absurd, but apparently it's actually a pretty common practice. So I've got my sandpaper, I've got my long board, diesel's over there waiting, the head's ready to go. I literally just need to get over there and start cranking out some sandpaper action. So in the meantime, thank you guys for following along with us. Thank you guys for supporting us. It's been super awesome. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe this will be the chance for you to do that. Hit the button just below this video. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you soon.